Good morning, students. Remember that in the last class, we recorded our very first VBA macro. And it was fun, right? By the end of this class, you will know how to edit your recorded macro. The gospel truth is that you can only edit your recorded macros if you understand the VBA codes recorded. If you understand the codes, then you can modify it to suit your need. For example, let's go ahead and record a macro that will turn off the grid lines. You know, in Microsoft Excel, the horizontal lines and the vertical lines we are seeing right now on the screen is vector. It isn't a real line. So we call it a grid line. So if I go to view and here you can see grid lines, the checkbox is checked. If I go ahead and uncheck it, you see that it's just like a blank space. So if I check it back on, you see that the horizontal lines and the vertical lines now appeared. All right. So we want to record a macro that can turn it off and turn it on when we must have edited the macro so to record the macro we go ahead and do what we know best to click on developer tab you click on record macro so we want to call this macro okay so we call it turbo grid line and i want to use um control shift t sorry control shift t at the shortcut it's stored in this workbook and i want to say this macro Toggles grid line off and on. Okay, so I go ahead and click OK. So, what this macro does, it toggles it on and off. So, I go ahead and click on view. I will turn the grid lines off, and that is all. I will go ahead and end this macro. Developer, stop recording. Okay, so we have a macro recorded with shortcut Control Shift T. So if we go back on sheet two, for example, it has grid lines, and we hit Control Shift T, the grid line is off. But remember, what we wanted is to toggle it off and on. That simply means if I hit Control Shift T, the grid line is supposed to come up again. But we can't do that in Microsoft uh, with macros recording we need to make some changes okay so if you go ahead and run our macro we go to macros we want this toggle grid line this particular macro here so if i click on edit i can see the recorded macros so here i have active window dot display grid lines equals to false okay so to um, make it a kind of toggle i need to make some changes it if i add these codes instead of saying false i say i say not active window dot display grid lines it's right here okay so if i make these changes remember i'm now editing the macros it was active window dot display grid lines equals to fox but now I turn it to not active window dot display grid nice. So if I go ahead and run this code here or by pressing F5, let me just run it procedurally. And if I go to my, sorry, this is my book two. If I hit control shift T, the grid lines is off. If I hit control shift T, the grid line is back again. Courtesy of editing the macro here. So that is the way you can enter your macro and edit your macro. That is only if you understand the macros recorded. Thank you very much for joining us in today's class. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next class.